In a groundbreaking announcement, Martin Iesi, CEO of the Minerals Commission, has unveiled a substantial partnership between the government of Ghana and a prominent Chinese manganese firm. This collaboration is set to establish a $450 million refinery in Ghana, a move poised to revolutionize the nation's manganese industry. This initiative underscores the government's commitment to enhancing value-added processing within the mining sector and signifies a strategic shift in Ghana's approach to its mineral resources. Before we continue, if you're enjoying this content and find it informative, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us bring you the latest news and insights from around the world. Plus, we're on a mission to reach 30,000 subscribers by the end of the month, and your subscription can make a big difference. Thank you for being part of our community. Addressing the 7th Annual Mining on Top Africa Summit in France on July 3, 2024, IEC highlighted the transformative potential of this refinery project. It is projected to significantly boost Ghana's revenue from manganese exports, with an expected increase from 27% to nearly 40%. Such a substantial rise in revenue is indicative of the far-reaching economic benefits that the refinery is anticipated to bring. IEC emphasized the creation of approximately 400,000 jobs for Ghanaian youth as a direct consequence of this project, underscoring the government's dedication to fostering employment and economic opportunities for its populace. IEC reiterated the government's unwavering commitment to commence construction of the refinery by August 2024. This ambitious timeline reflects Ghana's determination to modernize its mineral sector through initiatives spearheaded by the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources. The establishment of the refinery is not merely an economic venture. It represents a strategic pivot towards local value addition, breaking away from the historical precedent of exporting raw manganese, a practice that has persisted since 1916. Furthermore, IEC unveiled the government's plans to establish a lithium mine by late 2024. This project, set to span 22 months, aims to enhance Ghana's local processing capabilities and further increase the value of its mineral resources. Uh, the strategic development of the lithium mine is aligned with the broader goal of strengthening Ghana's mineral sector and ensuring that the nation maximizes the benefits derived from its natural resources. IEC also took the opportunity to advocate for increased local involvement in African mining ventures. He urged for policies that promote local ownership and equitable distribution of benefits across the mining value chain. This call to action is rooted in the belief that fostering local participation and ownership is essential for the sustainable development of the mining sector and the broader economy. IEC emphasized the importance of stable governance frameworks in fostering long-term partnerships with investors. He advised stakeholders to consider a country's regulatory environment and practices before committing to projects, highlighting the critical role of governance in ensuring successful and sustainable mining ventures. The announcement of this collaboration and the accompanying strategic initiatives underscores Ghana's proactive stance in leveraging its mineral wealth uh, to drive economic expansion and foster sustainable prospects for its populace. This move aligns with broader initiatives aimed at promoting industrialization and value addition within, within Africa's mining sector. By focusing on local value addition, Ghana is positioning itself to not only increase its revenue, but also to ensure that a larger share of the economic benefits derived from its mineral resources remains within the country. This refinery project and the establishment of the lithium mine are part of a broader vision to transform Ghana's mining sector. Um, the government's approach reflects a deep understanding of the need to move beyond the export of raw minerals and towards the creation of a more integrated and value-added mining industry. This vision is rooted in the belief that such an approach will yield greater economic benefits, create more jobs, and contribute to the sustainable development of the nation. Moreover, the focus on stable governance frameworks and regulatory environments highlights the government's commitment to creating a conducive environment for investment. By ensuring that the regulatory landscape is favorable and transparent, Ghana aims to attract long-term investments that are essential for the sustainable growth of the mining sector.
This approach is designed to build investor confidence and ensure that the benefits of mining ventures are equitably shared among all stakeholders. In summary, the collaboration between the government of Ghana and the Chinese manganese firm to build a $450 million refinery marks a significant milestone in Ghana's mining sector. This initiative, coupled with the plans to establish a lithium mine, reflects a strategic shift towards local value addition and economic empowerment. By fostering local involvement, ensuring stable governance frameworks, and promoting value-added processing, Ghana is paving the way for a more sustainable and prosperous future. This proactive stance not only aims to enhance the nation's economic prospects, but also to ensure that the benefits of its mineral wealth are shared equitably among its people. As Ghana embarks on this transformative journey, the nation sets a precedent for other resource-rich countries in Africa and beyond. If today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to this channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.